Uncle Mac McTavish had settled into his week-long visit to his younger brother's house in Ohau Street. All the Ohau Street kids liked it when Uncle Mac McTavish visited because he always pulled another perfect gift out of his coat's pocket every time he met someone new. Oh, hello, you lot! How's it going, Ken? He'd then pop a hand into the pocket of his Mac and pull out the perfect gift. It was somewhat of a mystery, but he was from Scotland and some very weird things come from Scotland. The Loch Ness Monster was from Scotland and that was pretty weird. In fact, Scotland was responsible for a whole lot of stuff. John Beard, Scotsman, invented the television. Alexander Graham Bell, he invented the telephone. The first savings bank was started in Scotland. John Boyd Dunlop, now he invented the air-filled tyre. Crikey, Charles McIntosh invented the first waterproof fabrics for raincoats. James Watt, the steam power. James Chalmers invented the postage stamp. Cripes, even the post office was started in Scotland. John Broadwood invented the grand piano. Thomas McCall, the peddling cycle. Fingerprinting, cloning, hypnosis. Cripes, the first colour newspaper advertisement was printed in Scotland. They invented football, golf, penicillin, hypodermic needles, fountain pens, the boys brigade, the Bank of England, colour photography, postcards and lime cordial. Ooh, I like a wee drop of lime cordial every now and then. Anyone would think that with all this inventing going on, there wasn't much else to do in Scotland. But there you go. There's not a lot to do in the Highlands, not a lot at all. All except inventing things and kicking around the ball. We love creating, we love inventing, we are having ourselves a ball. Cause there's not a lot to do in the Highlands, not a lot at all. We'll blow on the bagpipes, eat the haggis, toss the odd caber. We like the footer on the scooter and read the newspaper. We love creating, we love inventing, we are having ourselves a ball. Cause there's not a lot to do in the Highlands, not a lot at all. Uncle Max Macintosh, or raincoat, invented by Charles Macintosh, was indeed another one of those magnificent Scottish inventions, only this one was quite special. I don't know what's going on, but I reckon there's something weird about Uncle Mac's coat, Tia had said to Tabitha. Yeah, I reckon, Tabitha agreed. I've been wanting a little Loch Ness monster for ages. And Tia looked at her in a puzzled way. What do you mean? And Tabitha replied, I've always wanted my very own Loch Ness monster. He's a monster that lives in a lake in Scotland. Tia interrupted, I didn't know that. And Tabitha continued, I know, that's the point. I never told anyone that. How come Uncle Mac knew? When he saw me yesterday, he pulled a plastic Loch Ness monster out of his coat pocket. It was exactly what I wanted. And Tia's eyes grew wider. I reckon he gave me exactly the brat style I've always wanted. How'd he know? The girls were onto something. We've got to get our hands on that coat. But Tabitha knew that that wasn't going to be easy. But he never takes it off. Well, that wasn't strictly 100% correct. Every afternoon, Uncle Mac McTabish would take a nap, invented, well, probably by a Scotsman, but who knows. He would take off his big old Mac raincoat and have 40 winks. It was all planned. Tia would keep an eye on Uncle Mac while Tabitha would investigate the old Mac raincoat. What will they find in that old Mac raincoat? Find out next time. But until then, kā kite anō.